here's another review. Well, I don't even, couldn't even watch the movie. I don't even know what it's about because it got an error. Hot Rod. Now this is an HD DVD. Good looking woman on the front. Or girl, whatever you want. Yeah, they would never let a girl. No, it's not. It's a woman. It's got to be someone that's like 20, 21 because they would never let them dress like that. Um, let's just say that this movie was 87 minutes, 2007. And um, I can't say if it sucked or if it didn't. It looked like it was a really dumb movie, though, so it probably sucked. Um, let's, let me read some of the back. Andy Samberg Saturday Night Live stars as Rob Kimball, a stuntman with a fake mustache and a dream. Okay. In this outrageous comedy, so unpredictable you won't know what hit you, Rod has never landed a jump without wiping out. His family and friends think he's a joke, and to top it off, his stepfather Frank uses him as his own personal punching bag. But he's not going to let a few minor problems keep him from the biggest stunt of his life. Co-starring Isla Fresh from Fisher, Wedding Crushes, and Ian McShane, Shrek the Third. Oh, you, sounds terrible. Hot Rod is very, very funny from the start to finish, and the scales of... And the heights of hilarity as Rod uh, defies death to win the money, win the girl, and ultimately win some respect. It's got some special features of commentary. Uh, why am I discussing this? I probably did this in the unboxing. Outtakes, deleted scenes. Here's what happened. I watched it for about a set. I, I don't know how long it was. Maybe it's, I wasn't. It was under 15 minutes, and then I got the error. The dreaded error that you get. With nearly every, every single HD DVD that you buy nowadays. Now, this one wasn't even the dreaded Warner Brothers. This is a Paramount disc. I Usually, I don't have problems with Paramount. Um, I just just got cannot play disc era, and then that was that. And, I, and sometimes people say, well, try cleaning it and all of that. Well, if I look at it right now, I'm going to see how bad it is. Now, there's, there's a slight scratch over here. This could be the reason why it didn't play. But usually if it's a DVD, it always plays. But whatever. Um, just to think about, th that's bullshit. I'm not dealing with it again. Because I know from experience with my HD DVD player, which is a Toshiba. Go back on my channel. It's not a great player. It's one of the crappiest ones you can buy. It does 1080i or 720p. And um, it's a piece of junk. All I can say is, is that if I put this back in the play, it's going to error out and run like, um, it'll never run good. It's just going to be crap. So you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to throw out every single one of my HD DVDs right now. <laughs> and you know why I'm going to do that? Because they all suck. They don't play and none of them work right. You know, the, what's good about it, the only good thing about it is it has a complete readout in the front with digits. And, and um, that's good because Blu-ray players and DVDs never really did that. They cheaped out down the line. And you wouldn't be able to look at what, what was going on. Like you wouldn't know what chapter you were on. You'd have to put, pull the display on the television. You could just look forward. Um, well, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think it's about time I just throw away these worthless pieces of junks once and for all. And um, that's that. I was thinking about shredding all the HD DVD discs. The problem with that is is that I don't know how my shredder would react to that because I lost the flap to the, um, what's it called? The way you put, you, you, you would normally shred CDs. I'm just going to throw them away. I don't think I'm going to go through all that trouble. I'd probably get it jammed. And if you shred too many things in it, it overheats and then you have to wait a long time for it to start up again. So that's that. Let's give you a look at this. Um, shows you all the different stuff that's coming out. All garbage. All absolute garbage. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to find where that the scratch is on the... Ah, oh, damn it. Forget it. I don't care. Um, this movie probably sucked. I don't like these comedies anyways. They, they usually suck. But, you know, for two bucks I try it. Once in a while at a Goodwill I can find one. I think I'll, I'll take a risk once in a while. If it's only a couple of bucks, I'll buy it if I see it. But, um, hey, I played Tomb Raider, and it worked perfectly fine without any errors. Or did it get an error? I don't remember. 
I, I played Tomb Raider and it was fine. But I play this and it won't work. It makes no sense. This is a reputable company. It's not Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers is horrible with this format. But um, we'll see what happens. Bye-bye.